What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm showing you how I completed the Silver Stars and the Silver Beasts. As you can see we've already got Vydra on the bench. Uh, he, he's a really really good card but obviously I've only played in squad battles because you're insane if you go in rivals whatever division you're on and play with a silver team. Um, as you can see this is the team that I did use. Uh, it doesn't have full chemistry and personally I don't think it really matters too much because the players that you're using and that sort of thing you're always in friendlies the skill based matchmaking this year which is absurd and you'll hear me um, complaining about it in the gameplay to come but it shouldn't be there so if you're in division one you'll get matched up against players in division one or two and if you're in division five you'll get matched up against people in division four five six you know it, it's just it's really irritating. Friendly should be a nice, calming experience after Rivals and Champs. And I love the concept of these. I, I did a video yesterday. This is one of my favorite things that they've brought in the game. I love these objectives. The fact that you get an, a silver inform and then once you've done that, you can go and get a 55k pack and four, I'm just going to call them gold packs because essentially that's what they are, with one rare player in them. It's brilliant. I like that sort of thing. But... Get rid of skill based matchmaking because it, it just it, it's like playing champs and rivals and we get enough of that during the week but anyway this is the team that i used it was just players in my club um i think this guy is the only expensive player but again he was in my club what i would recommend you to do as this is like kind of a how to complete it if you haven't already got the two wins um i would just search oh that's play whoops I go on the transfer market and if you don't have silvers in your club just search for either Argentinian silver commons or silver rares and just build a full Argentinian squad. It, try and get players with 70 plus pace you know it, it doesn't really matter too much um, because again most silver players unless you're coming up against someone who's built a 300k squad you, you know they're, they're all kind of similar. Um, or uh, build a Japanese squad or a Korean squad because there's a lot of good and pacey uh, Japanese and Korean players. Again, these are silver commons. You can search silver um, rares and just just build it in a standard 442 or a 4122 and narrow. You know, something where you can get nice passes off and you can create space for for runners and get some clear goal scoring opportunities. There, there all the games were goal fests for me. Um, but yeah, I've completed that and then once you do have Vydra, obviously I'll go through a little bit more in the video later, but once you do have him, it's it's really easy after that. It's just squad battles. Unless you're insane and you want to do it on rivals, then, you know, be my guest. But uh, if we look here, the Silver Beasts. Silver Aces, you need to get 10 goals with the Silver in form. Of course, you can go out, I think it's a Brazilian Silver in form, but at the minute he's being price fixed, so I, I'd, I'd just go out and get the Vydra in friendlies. Once you've got that, 10 goals with him, 8 assists with silver players in squad battles, 5 wins with 11 silver players. What this means, you can start with 11 silver players and as you can see on my reserves um, in my team, I didn't actually use them because uh, it's only professional that you have to do it. But if you're struggling, you can bring on your uh, your gold stars or, or you know wh whatever players you have just to help you give that edge if you need it. And then I think the other one is um, scoring 3 with silver players in three separate games. Again, all minimum professional difficulty. It's not too difficult, and for a 55k pack at this stage of the game, which is untradeable, by the way, it's it's good. And I want them to do more of this. Just please get rid of skill-based matchmaking. But anyway, this is the squad that I used. Here's the highlights. Right, so as you can see, my first opponent doesn't have... Uh, I've started this a little bit late, but yeah doesn't have an amazing team it's uh, limited chemistry and he's done the same as me he probably looked what's in his club and i imagine if i do go ahead in this game he'll probably back out uh the the hardest part is probably going to be getting the eight goals or whatever it is or the five goals rather than the uh the two wins but we'll have a look it's good play can i score oh what a save that is I should have scored. I probably should have uh, cut it across there. But I've got the goal there. Go on, back out. Actually, no, don't. I want another goal first. But that was the right back. Right, we're playing it down the wing. Can we get this across? Yes. 
the cutbacks there, there we go, 2-0, get in. There's two assists, two goals, and hopefully the win in the bag. Right, there we go, we've played it through to Campbell again. This time I'm just going to shoot normally, and that's exactly what I did. And there we go, 3-0. I'm surprised he hasn't rage quit, to be honest. We're 20 minutes in. Uh, I was kind of hoping he would, makes it a little bit easier. But if I can get all the goals on this one... And then, uh, you know, the next game, all I need to do is win. And I don't need to worry about goals. Right, there we go. We've played it. Can we get the fourth? Oh, it's off the bar. All over this dude, though. Oh, wow. Oh, he's pulled it back to 3-2 he's literally and I'm not even just saying that he's had two shots I probably should have covered that a little bit better but that's a bit annoying because I have been all over him I should have scored more than three <sighs> come on there we go this should be the fourth I'm just going to tramp it and I've, I've screwed that up I shouldn't have done that I should have just shot I had the angle, I had everything, but I tried to get the guaranteed goal. That's kind of hurt me, but yeah, right, well, half time. I'm fairly confident I'm going to win, and there you go, if we look on the match facts. Two shots, two on target. I've had 11, seven on target. It's just one of those things, in it? We're still winning, but I, I really should be out of sight. No fucking way. Oh, nah. Nah, I'm I'm really, really annoyed with that one. There's not too much I could have done there. I felt like I won the ball, but I didn't. Uh, when he tried to cross it in, I tried to block it. didn't work. And then it's rebounded straight to his player. And unfortunately, that's three shots, three goals. And now we're 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I'm going to bring on some pace up front, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Nah, I'm, I'm having a mare in defence. I really am. That's four, isn't it? Oh, what a save. And, of course, I do not in any way, shape, or form deserve to be losing this. I need to, I need to do better, though, going forward. Hmm. That's a pen. Was that a free kick? It's a penalty. Nice. There we go. Just inside the box. Now I need to start. Uh, uh, sorry, score it, of course. Right, I'm going to fake as I'm going in the middle, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> wow, if it had actually went where I wanted it, it probably would have been saved. But hey, ho, 4 4. I deserve a little bit of luck. And there we go. I've accidentally brought my. Uh, double tapped it, so it's got the wrong player. And yeah, now he's got a chance. It's a good ball. Come on, can I get the cross away? He's on the far post, and I've went for the far post, and it didn't go there, but it's came back to us, and... Really... Oh... Fuck sake, man! Arr, sometimes this game can be so frustrating in defence. I'm so, so bad at defending. Bit better than I was last year, but I'm still awful. Well, that was irritating. I have no idea why he decided to stay in when he was 3-0 down in the 19th minute. I should have made it 4 or 5-0 at that point. Uh, he had a better second half than me. Um, you know, he played much better in the second half, but I still feel like, bar possession, I should have had that game easily. I really should have. Uh, disappointed to score, concede two from his first two shots in the first half. But hey ho, that should be the goals. Well, I only need one more goal, but that should be the assists. Now we just need to get the wins. And hopefully, the next time I go 3 0 up, the dude won't actually stay in the game because that's silly. Right, so the next opponent we've got, what sort of team does he have? Um, okay, he's got a full chem French team. Probably smart, probably smarter than what I've done. What I hope isn't the case, but seems like it's the case is that friendlies has skill-based matchmaking that 
in itself is a is an L that really shouldn't be in the game. Um, rivals, fair enough, but friendlies should just be you can come up against anyone. I'm in Division One, so if I'm getting matched up against people with a similar skill rate, and it's going to be so so hard for me to get this done, even with silver players, just because it's it's unnecessarily competitive really uh, if you're always playing on the same level on friendlies i don't know i think sometimes you should be playing better people and sometimes you should be playing worse like it should just be random oh come on man i've defended that oh fuck off two tackles nothing and he oh fuck's sake Skill based matchmaking is the worst thing they could have done in friendlies. <sighs> hey, there we go. We've got a goal back. Well, it is a goal back. We're 1 1. <sighs> the, uh, the gameplay shouldn't be as frustrating as it is on friendlies. Like, uh, eventually I'm going to relegate. Like, it's pointless me staying in Division 1. Uh, like, it's just. It's making everything far too difficult and the rewards aren't even that much better anyway. I might as well go to Division 4 just to have easier objectives. Like, they need, uh, they, they really need to address that. Do not have skill-based matchmaking in friendly. It's just stupid. Oh, come on, Keeper. I mean, what can I do about that? that that's just bullshit. Oh, jeez, man. I'm, I'm going to struggle to get these two wins. I've got the goals already, they're, they're all done, but yeah, these two wins, damn man. Oh my god. Right, come on, play him, and he's too wide. And I've managed to get it back in though, get in. Oh, and glitched up stats, nice. He's got three defending and seven dribbling apparently. Gotta love the graphical glitches. Oh, I just can't, I just can't, man. It's so hard defending, especially with silver players. Especially when the opponent is probably better than I am anyway. <sighs> and this should be 3-3 three, three if I don't make a meal of it. Yeah, he moved his keeper as well. So you can tell he's, it, it's skill-based matchmaking. It definitely is. You, you can just tell when you're against someone of a syllaba, uh, similar calibre. I think personally this guy's probably got a higher rating than I do. Um, I don't know. Oh, and I've pulled my defence. That's my fault. But, again, if it was a random opponent, probably wouldn't be having this issue. Oh, my days. And... <laughs> It's just not fun playing players of a similar calibre to you. It just really isn't. I get enough of that on rivals and champs every week. Well, this is a much better team than what I've got. Uh, obviously, this guy has probably spent some coins to get some of those players since they are quite OP. But yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see. Oh my fucking god. Oh. <laughs> Wait, why didn't he just shoot? There we go. Oh, that should be my first win. <sighs> Again, this has been a very, very even match. I've messaged the other two people that I played uh, with the losses, but they haven't came back to me about their division and their rank. I'm going to do the same with this guy as well, because I just want to get a gauge, because it feels like I'm playing a very similar sort of skilled player to me. So I imagine he's Div 2, Div 1. Right, there's the first win done. Oh, bloody hell, that was hard. Actually, I may as well show the stats while I'm here. So, 4-2 win. Yeah. I mean, the other games I played better than I did this game when I won this one. 
<laughs> oh, this few uh, just nice little team there to be honest. A little bit of a hybrid, looks like MLS and uh, the Korean First League. I'm not entirely sure what you call that, but uh, yeah, looks like a decent squad. But hopefully, this will be the final game uh, before we get a Vidra card. Well, there you go. His skill rating is 1847, which is practically almost in Division 1. He's uh, in Division 2, 53 points away from Division 1. So, you know, I'll, I'll message this guy as well afterwards and uh, see what his skill rating is. But, yeah, skill-based matchmaking must be there. It really must. Can that be a goal? Yes, it is. Go on, please, back out. Just back out. Give me the easy win. No. <sighs> Another rebound. <laughs> oh. I mean, to be fair, he deserves to be uh, level. I'm not going to say he doesn't. It's just irritating conceding in that manner. Oh, for fuck's sake, put a fucking foot in, man. I'm clicking tackle, you twat. Wait, why are you playing on fucking... Oh, you prick. You've already got the bloody card. He scored again with his fucking Vidra card. Why is he even on friendlies, man? You don't need anything in the uh, Silver Beast. That's all... Uh, squad battles or rivals man he's just deliberately being a prick ruining everyone else's day in this uh mode <laughs> right i might as well back out of that one it's absolutely pointless thing and i've got the goals i've got the assists i just need the win <sighs> fuck man Right, well, his team is fairly standard, and there you go. There you go, Division 1, 2000, uh, the dude that I just played. <laughs> 2000 skill ranking, which is 100 more than mine. <sighs> but yeah, the, the team that this guy had was uh, pretty good as well. Fairly, you know, standard, just at 100k, uh, sorry, 100 chem, that sort of thing. Hopefully we can get a nice early goal, maybe get him to rage quit. Well, I stopped recording, which uh, is kind of stupid because the game that I stopped recording, the guy decided to rage quit, which I thank him for. Half pint 365. You are a legend. Thank you. <laughs> 2 0 up, and that's the second win. So we've got Vidra finally. But yeah, I know I've said it many times in this video, but for these to actually be as enjoyable as they should be they need to get rid of skill based matchmaking it is no fun for me coming up against division 2 division 1 level players eventually particularly because i'm doing youtube and because i like doing objectives the rewards aren't going to be worth it for rivals so why the hell would i stay in division 1 or division 2 there's no point i would prefer getting easier games relegate myself to division 3 4 5 playing players of that caliber, getting the easy wins, and then, you know, getting the rewards. It shouldn't be like that. It really shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes in terms of that. But now we've got this Vidra card. I like it. The objectives, bar skill-based matchmaking, aren't too difficult. Two wins, five goals, four assists. You should pick that up during, uh, you know, the time that you get him. Sorry, the time that you get the wins. So yeah, he looks like a really solid card. As you saw, one of my opponents already had him. And he scored two of them. So this will be really, really good to put into the uh, squad for squad battles. I'm just going to quickly see what the objectives are for that. I believe it's like three goals with a team of the week, silver. And then the rest are like playing games, assisting and scoring with a silver squad. Um, ooh, we've unlocked a pack as well. So I can, upload, I can uh, open that actually. Why not? It's a 25k pack. I'll do that in a sec. Um... 
But yeah, we, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have the Silver B, Silver Aces, score 10 with the Silver Team of the Week players on squad battles. I'm going to do that. I'm never doing that on Rivals. You're insane if you do these Silver objectives on Rivals. Assist 8 goals with Silver players on squad battles. Nice. Win 5 matches with 11 Silver players. And score 3 goals with Silver player in 3 separate squad matches. Uh, squad build, I can't even say it. Squad battles. I keep saying squad builder, don't I? But yeah, oh, we've got two packs. What's the other one? Two players pack. Oh, that was for Vydra, wasn't it? Or was that for... A, no, that was a milestone for playing 10 friendlies matches. So we'll see. No walkout in that. Didn't really expect it. The 25k pack, though. Hopefully we can get something in that. Oh, James Madison. Not too bad. And this right wing, which actually will come in really, really useful for me. I need an English uh, midfielder. That's silver. So that's a big dub. And uh, let's see what we get in this pack. Can we get a walkout? We do not, but we do get a board, which is always nice. I think that's an inform, actually. Goalkeeper, Onana. Oh, it's not an inform, but it's 80, 84 rated Onana. That's not too bad. See if we've got anything else in there. An 84 Martial would be great. Nope. We get Barella and a bunch of other stuff. But anyhow, yep, yeah, let's. I, I'm not going to show the gameplay for the squad battles because it's squad battles, but I'll be back when I have redeemed the pack and we'll see what we get. Right, so we have completed the friendly objective and as I say, other than skill-based matchmaking, I think this is a great idea from EA and long may it continue. I hope they do this at least once a week. That would be fantastic. Just little different challenges, um, you know, maybe have uh, certain rating requirements so like a 78 rated team that needs four leagues or something just to try a few different players really it's a really really nice uh thing and it is enjoyable um and of course it's even better when you get the packs which is the the ultimate aim so yeah we've got the the 475 plus and the 55k pack which i believe is untradeable but then again it doesn't actually specify that so i don't know um, but yeah, I mean, you've already seen the objectives that once you've got Vidra, it's really, really simple. Um, you just stick it on professional. You also can sub on three of your good players. I didn't actually need to, thankfully, but yeah, you can have three high rated goals on the bench. So if you're struggling, just bring them on because all it says is a win with 11 silver players and obviously scoring with three silver players in three games so anyhow we're going to open these hopefully we can get something from it um again it doesn't it doesn't specify untradeable so I, I think that might be tradable you know if so that's an even bigger dub than i originally thought like wow uh so the first one what have we got no walkout it's not boards either oh it's david louis it's it is untradeable it just doesn't specify that it seems um okay that's a little bit disappointing if it does specify that anyway and i'm just being an idiot fair enough but i i couldn't see it uh no walkout no board again hopefully we get some one that isn't a duplicate though gababin there you go i asked for someone who wasn't a duplicate that'll do next 75 plus how are you gonna walk out of one of these how good would that be it is not a walkout. It's not a board either. I'm going to guess 76. It seems to be going worse. 78 matches. He's not a bad card. For a for a starter team, he's not bad. But we're kind of past the point of starter teams now, really. Almost a week into the game. 75 plus. What do we get in this? No board. So no board in any of the... the I'm just going to call them gold guarantees because that's essentially what they are. Right, hopefully this guy isn't... Ah, uh, yes, he's duplicate and tradable. Right, so the 55k pack, these have been really good for me so far in this game. So, can we get another big, big pull? That would be fantastic. It is not a walkout, but of course it mu it's surely going to be boards anyway. I th is that an inform? Ah, oh, actually, wait, it couldn't have been an inform anyway, because last I'm recording this after the new team of the week's out, so Renato Sanchez isn't in form at the minute so Jao Matinho unless there's someone else in there Coutinho Torreira Canote is pretty good I think he goes for a little bit doesn't he <laughs> literally a little bit Torreira the transferred card doesn't really go for much Coutinho eh, he's about 8k and Jao Matinho will be like yeah 2k so overall a bit of an L for me really um 
I didn't get too much from that, but still, I like the concept and I hope they do more and I still think it's a big, big win. I really do. Um, and it gives you a reason after you've finished your rivals games to actually go out and play friendlies because I mean unless you're playing draft or squad battles there's not really anything else once you've done your rivals qualification uh, games so yeah it's nice having options of things to do